Hi, welcome back to Elder Training at Lake Hills Presbyterian Church. Chapter 3. What's a Presbyterian? And what's unique about the Presbyterian Church USA? First, it's sometimes helpful to talk about who we're not. We're not the PCA, we're not the EPC, the OPC, the RPC, the CPC, or the BPC. Remember, Presbyterian is a verb. It's a way to describe how a church governs itself. There are lots of Presbyterian denominations, over 20. And if you look very carefully, you can see them all on this chart. We're the Presbyterian Church USA. The PCUSA has about 2.3 million members, more than 10,000 congregations, and about 14,000 ordained and active ministers, or teaching elders. The PCUSA was formed in 1983 when the old Southern Church, the PCUS, joined the Northern Church, the UPCUSA, and reunited after more than a hundred years of separation. What Presbyterians Believe Presbyterians believe in God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Scripture, and God's salvation. We believe in God. We praise God's majesty, holiness, and providence. We believe God creates, sustains, rules, and redeems the world. We believe this is God's world. God made the world and can let the world be as God chooses. And God chooses to love the world, creation, and us. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe Jesus is the Son of God, the head of the church, whom God raised from the dead to save us from sin. We believe Jesus blesses the children, heals the sick, rescues the captives, and cares for the outcasts. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Christ's gift to the church, which makes us one and keeps the church alive, giving us the power to do the work of Jesus. We believe in the Bible. The Old Testament and the New Testament together are God's unique and authoritative witness to Jesus Christ in the church universal and God's word to each of us. We believe in God's salvation by grace, that sin is a condition of the heart, a spiritual sickness. Out of the greatest possible compassion and love, God reached out to us and saved us through Jesus Christ, through his death and resurrection. Presbyterians adhere to Reformed theology. We believe in the sovereignty of God, the authority of Scripture, justification by grace through faith, and the priesthood of all believers. In the Presbyterian Church, we ordain our leaders. Ministers who are teaching elders are ordained by a presbytery. Ruling elders are ordained by their church, their local congregation. Ordination is always a calling to service as well as leadership. In the Presbyterian Church, once you're ordained, you're always ordained. Teaching elders are ordained by the Presbytery to preach the Word and administer the sacraments. Ruling elders are ordained by a local congregation to serve and to lead. Ordination is performed on behalf of the entire Presbyterian Church USA denomination and is recognized equally in all of its member congregations. As an elder, you'll be asked questions of ordination. These are basically the same questions that ministers are asked. You're ordained as an elder to service and leadership in the Presbyterian Church USA. Do you trust in Jesus Christ, your Savior? Acknowledge Him Lord of all and Head of the Church, and through Him believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you accept the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be, by the Holy Spirit, 
the unique and authoritative witness to Jesus Christ in the Church Universal and God's Word to you. Do you sincerely receive and adopt the essential tenets of the Reformed faith as expressed in the confessions of our Church, as authentic and reliable expositions of what Scripture leads us to believe and do, and will you be instructed and led by those confessions as you lead the people of God? Will you fulfill your office in obedience to Jesus Christ under the authority of Scripture and be continually guided by our confessions? Will you be governed by our Church's polity and will you abide by its discipline? Will you be a friend among your colleagues in ministry, working with them, subject to the ordering of God's Word and Spirit? Will you in your own life seek to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, love your neighbors, and work for the reconciliation of the world? Do you promise to further the peace, unity, and purity of the Church? Will you seek to serve the people with energy, intelligence, imagination, and love? Will you be a faithful elder, watching over the people, providing for their worship, nurture, and service? Will you share in government and discipline, serving in the governing bodies, the councils of the Church? And in your ministry, will you try to show the love and justice of Jesus Christ? Now for some discussion. Which vow most echoes your own sense of calling? Are any of the vows troubling or confusing? Do you need to know more before you can answer them? 